Hey y'all. All right, so we got our post set. These are our posts for the exterior walls. I got two set here and two set on the other side. So we have two more wall sections that uh, we're gonna work on or start working on. So um, I have my eight by eight. This guy is uh, over 12 foot long. So I'm gonna start him. He's gonna span from the corner to uh, this and then I'm gonna put another shorter one from here to there um, that's what we're gonna work on laying these out One thing about hand sawing, if you get off just a little bit on your square, your your um your saw will start to bind. And I try to work around the log to get a square cut around it because I'm not a very good uh I don't do very good at just going straight down. I always end up bowing or veering or something so to try to get a good square cut and I try to go around the log which most of the time it works really well sometimes though if you get off a little bit like I was on this one your your saw will try to start following those lines and it'll bind a little bit if your lines and it's just a hair if you just get off just a touch your saw will start to bind. So what I did was, if you get a chainsaw and you cut the bulk of that uh, opposing wood off of there, and then if you are off a little bit, or if your saw is binded a little bit, it's a lot easier because you don't have so much wood on the backside um, binding your saw.
my first cut, I actually didn't mean to get that close to my line. Uh, I really didn't leave any any meat to saw through, so I'll just have to get that with a plane. Plus, I mean, we are timber framing. We're not uh, we're not building a piano. But I do want to try to get it as close as I can. some finished nails into the post um, also into the corners of these so I'm just gonna pull some strings um, just trying to check my make sure everything is, is level or, or pretty close because when I set that seal plate on these posts uh, if you notice on these I notched them out I notched the bottom of the seal plate out a half an inch to saddle over the post, just enough to keep it from sliding. Also, too, um, well, that's main, the main point is just to give it a snug fit. So, I do have a little bit of a leeway here, and so this seal post here, I could either, I mean, if they're too high, I can trim them obviously if they're too low I can uh, not notch it as much um, so I just pulled uh, I got a string right here around that nail on that corner and I'm putting this little uh, line level on it get it tight so this is dead I can't even believe it this is dead center on the level from that corner to this corner so I don't want to get ahead of myself <laughs> but uh, that's really good So this one, uh, the bubbles between the lines, but it's favoring this side. So it's telling me uh, this side is just a hair lower than that side. And I mean just a hair, which I'm perfectly good with. This one's good. Tell you what, I'm, I'm uh, very uh, surprised. So these three are pretty consistent in that uh, they're just, uh, I mean, just a touch on the 
high side. When I mean a touch, I mean the the bubble in the level is just touching that line. So I'm gonna call it good. If I start trying to adjust too much, I'll I'll get it knocked off.
All right. Well, when the sun came out, I had to get out of the overalls. Um, but yeah, I got both of the seal plates done. The long one and the short one. And uh, so I have to do this again on the other side. Um, I made a calculation error in there's a, a short 8x8 eight eight post on my stack that I thought was long enough to to do this with but it's a couple inches shy um, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow with that thinking about either just doubling the post and just because I'm cutting about probably about six inches six to eight inch well more than that probably cut off about a foot off of the end of the long ones and the other one's about the same size so I have enough room to double my post up run this to the second post and then just make a shorter short beam so I may do that. I think it'd be less. Either that, or I'm gonna have to uh, cut another tree and cut it up and mill it and and all that, which I don't feel like doing for one post. I know I'll end up using the the wood, um, but I'll think about it overnight and see what I'm gonna do tomorrow with it. So uh, yeah, I, I thought I had enough. Well, I had enough post number wise but I didn't realize that shorter one was just a little too short so I don't have any other stock to uh, mill an 8x8 eight eight out of and I had enough um, I started milling 4x8s because I thought I had enough 8x8s eight eight. so part of it um, it'll all get used so but uh, now I'm going to be short on that one on that other side which we'll get through it but yeah uh, they come out pretty good um, this one I might have to shim just a little bit uh, but other than that it uh, it's good they come out they come out good so I'll start picking up and moving my stuff to the other side and do it so I can do those tomorrow. I knew I was at the end of my battery. Let me swap it out. I know it's cheating, but I don't mind cheating a little bit here and there. I still got a lot of cleaning out to do.
this is my, uh, I guess, homemade concoction of um, equal parts. It's 30% uh, vinegar, boiled linseed oil, and uh, natural pine tar. It looks like motor oil. But it's not.
So it's not perfect. I think uh, Yeah, this corner here is a little high. Um, but putting those little storyboards like that um, make it a whole lot easier to, uh, to, to get it level. So this is level here and it starts to rise up a little bit as I go. That's actually from, so this, this actually might be just a touch low. So I'm going to leave it be. I'll make, uh, I can put a little shim in there. So it'll be good. The main, the main load is going to be on this post. This is just to marry the two pieces together. So uh, my long one's going to stretch and terminate here. My short one's going to marry up with it. And they're going to terminate on this post. And then I'll uh, pin them together. And then I'll pin them down into the post. My... Uh, a tall post for the wall is going to sit on top of this one. So I think we're going to be good. This little gap right there, I don't think is going to be a big deal. So I'm a little tight on this lip right here.
Hey y'all, seal plates are done. This worked out pretty good. So uh, this double post, uh, my, my wall post is gonna sit on top of this guy here. And uh, these two are joined up and will marry to this guy here. So uh, I think we'll be pretty sound. So that saved me from having to cut another tree down and do a bunch of milling just to get a, a six foot or a little over six foot uh, post. So I got my uh, pockets cut out for my, my floor joist on this and the other seal plate. And uh, so yeah, we're in pretty good shape. We'll be uh, getting our wall pieces put together, our posts and, uh, and beams and braces and such. And then hopefully in the near future, we'll get these stood up and, and married to the interior walls that we previously stood up. So um, I thank anybody who's watching. Uh, if you would, please uh, send me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if there's anything I can do to make the content better, let me know. Um, I'm just going along and, and hopefully somebody gets some kind of... Uh, entertainment or um, just learning something or whatever the case may be wherever you watch I uh, hope it's something beneficial for somebody so it helps me I've, um, it makes the process a lot longer to to film while doing this but I find it uh, rather enjoyable because for one uh, I always do a poor job of documenting things um, when, when I'm uh, working on things or, or fixing or, or building or anything like that and um, I like this because it helps me to to it forces me to document it so now I have a record to go back on and look at uh, a before and after so to speak so I, I'm excited down the road to, to see look back and see this part and uh, it helps me to realize where I came from and, and, and what's been done already because I get so uh, focused on uh, things that are not yet done and things that are, are yet to be done. And sometimes you, you miss the forest for the trees like that. At least I know I do. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get... Uh, anxious because there's so much to do and so many things I want to do and sometimes I need to take a step back and look at the things that I've already done and it helps me to um, compartmentalize and to give me a good understanding of where I am on my path and uh, so yeah there's Good Lord willing, there's there's a long path in front of me of things to do and things to accomplish. Um, but the good Lord has all, already blessed me in being able to get where I am today. And to be able to do the things that I have already done. Not just on building this cabin, but, you know, relationships and family uh, and community. You know, those are all things that I look back on and go, you know... Things are, I am blessed. I am blessed indeed. So, thank y'all for watching. And uh, we will get there. <laughs>